Hey guys, how's everybody doing? So, if you guys remember a few weeks back, maybe even a month ago I should say, I posted a question asking you guys if you think I should get back into keeping tarantulas. I've been really itching, pun intended, to get back into keeping tarantulas and I wanted to see what you guys thought. So, not bad, yeah, a lot of you were uh, sort of keen. And regardless of that, you know, it's about what I want, obviously, because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be getting animals because you want them. I mean, I, I appreciate knowing that you like them too, but I'm not the type of person that's going to buy an animal for YouTube, you know? So, uh, without further ado, today's video is going to be a review for the wonderful business called Tangled in Webs. You can uh, check out their website down below if you're interested in buying spiders from them. I believe that they primarily sell within Canada, but uh, exports might be possible. In any case, I picked up a bunch of teas from Dawn. She's a great friend, great service all around, amazing business if you're considering obtaining some new eight-legged friends. So I'm really excited to show you guys the animals I picked up. And uh, here we go, yeah went right back into the teas, so there's going to be a lot more tarantula videos on this channel soon. For those of you that suffer from arachnophobia, this is your fair warning. Please reconsider watching this video or, you know, watch at your own risk. I guess by now you would probably figure this is a spider video by the title and the thumbnail, but if you're still watching, you've been warned. Before kicking off the review, here's a quick feeding video of two of my Theraphosa Sturmy Goliath bird eating tarantulas. Okay, so here we go. Right off the bat, you can see some of these are labeled. I've uh, started naming a bunch of them already with the help of my lovely girlfriend, Tempest. Uh, but basically, we have loads of spiders here to take a look at. So first of all, we have a lovely female Lassiodora parahybana. This is a sexed juvenile. Um, this is the Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Lovely animal. These spiders get quite large. They're a beautiful New World terrestrial species. You're looking at, uh, I would say on average, an 8 to 9, maybe pushing 10 inch specimen by the time it is full grown. Next up is a genus I've really been wanting to get into keeping for quite some time. This is a Pomphibidius antinus which is a beautiful, beautiful spider. This is a sexed female. So I've already taken the liberty of rehousing some of these spiders. I got a bunch of these amazing acrylic enclosures or containers, and they're really elegant ways to display your slings and smaller tarantulas. It's just basically drilled holes in the top and you can do the sides too. You gotta be careful how hard or fast you drill because it's very easy to chip them. I made that mistake, unfortunately, but I mean, otherwise this container is great. So this is Bigfoot, the Postolotheria Safusca lowland, otherwise recognized as Bara. And it is one of the beautiful Postolotheria genus tarantula. Um, this guy, well, let's not, let's cross our fingers and hope it's female, is way down. In here, you can kind of see its legs just in there, but we're not gonna like dig her out and disturb or anything. But that's a lovely spider. And then here we have Dijon, the Enseocratella olivacea. And this is a really interesting species because they actually lack the spermatheci or spermatica, which is where the female spider would normally store sperm. And one of the reasons why if you breed tarantulas and your female molts, 
she loses the fertility because the sperm is basically shed away with the spermatheci. What is interesting is because this species lacks the spermatheci, the female in theory should remain fertilized if she is in fact gravid, which is really cool. Um, this animal is somewhere in here, unfortunately not showing itself, but all the same, I want to let you know that I now own one of these beautiful spider as well. Next up in this bin, we have a recently rehoused female Chromatopelma cyaneopubescens, which is the green bottle blue, and this female's name is Pepsi. I thought that was a pretty clever name. I'm pretty proud of that. Here she is, just in her little hide. She started doing a little bit of webbing, but not much yet. You can see her here. And Dawn informed me that she is actually bred. However, she's really looking like she's due for a shed. So I'm crossing my fingers that by some miracle, she'll decide to drop a sack instead of molt. But one thing or the other is going to happen soon. So I'll keep her warm and a little more on the moist side, hoping to stimulate the egg sack. These guys normally like it a bit drier, but there is some humidity in this soil. So... We'll see what happens, but that's her. She's gorgeous. Hasn't eaten once yet, which, you know, again, either means sack or molt, hopefully. We shall see. So this guy here is Pluto, my male Postolotheria metallica, otherwise known as the Goody Sapphire Ornamental. So this is his enclosure here for now while he grows. And again... Just a warning, these are a more potent species of tarantula, so you really don't want to be messing with these guys too much. That being said, they are very rewarding to keep. However, I really don't recommend handling any old world species, especially not pokies. Definitely do not handle this genus. And if you're responsible and respectful with the animal, it's nothing really to be worried about. Here is the juvenile female Postolotheria metallica named Neytiri after the film Avatar. Um, she is just gorgeous. I have to be careful because this species is a bit light sensitive, so I don't want her bolting or being frightened, but beautiful animal. Thank you, Dawn. If you take a look here, you can see the lovely uh, yellow bands on the legs that they the species possesses. So if all goes well with the size difference, Hopefully, Neytiri and Pluto back there will be able to breed at some point. So that's my pair of P. metallicas. Alrighty, so now we got all my uh, slings here in this box that I also ordered from Don that we'll unpack. And here are a bunch of enclosures that are made up for them uh, to be housed in. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at all these lovely slings and transfer them into their new homes. Alright guys, so now that these enclosures are all done up, I'm going to go ahead here and take a look at the lovely slings I received. So, there we go. And there we go. Here we are. First container, we have a lovely Nandu Tripepi, which is the Strawberry Blonde Bird Eater. We have a Heteroscondra Maculata, the Togo Starburst Baboon. Also a rather uh, potent species, venom-wise. Old World, again, are not species you want to get bit by. Next up here we have a P. marinus, which is the Torino chilis marinus, so known as the OBT orange bitey thing, you know, it's a pretty awesome species, I really wanted one. I've actually never bought them as a sling before, so it'll be fun to raise this one up. 
here we have a Serio Cosmos elegans. This is one of the lovely dwarf tarantula species. Um, this little one is hiding right now, but let me see if I can coax it out so you can see how cute they are. They have a little heart on their abdomen, and uh, yeah, let me see if I can get it out, but it's so tiny. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. She kind of just bolted on my hands, and sorry guys, my hands are super dry and dirty right now because I've been mixing soil. But that's the animal. You can see the little heart on her butt. On her abdomen. It's a super tiny spider. Well, let's put her back. Next up we have two Salmopoeus erminia, which are the Venezuelan sun tigers. These are actually rather large specimens already, which is pretty cool. Uh, I try to do some ventral sexing, but I'm not sure. And you know, it's not the most reliable thing. I, I thought perhaps that at least one of these might be female, so I'm crossing my fingers. Um, and then the other might be a male, but that'd be cool. Uh, they're very similar in size, so that male's probably going to outgrow the female quickly, if that is the case. But uh, thank you very much, Don. They look great. Now we're going to move ahead and check the next container. Here we have a Carabina versicolor, which is formerly the Avicularia versicolor. Okay, well, this one is just hiding there. You can kind of see it. Very small little sling. These guys can be a bit delicate as slings too. You have to be careful. They're kind of known to... Uh, drop. Now for me the main thing is I, I find if you have ample ventilation but also enough humidity they do quite well. So those things sort of contradict each other. Ventilation gets rid of humidity but if you can balance it enough with just the right amount of ventilation holes these guys kind of get out of that delicate stage with ease. I just want to take the cap off this to show you the second slink since it's actually kind of in the open. Okay, and there you go. Lovely Carabino Versicolor. Next we have here the Lampropelma Vilociopes, commonly known as the Singapore Blue Tarantula. Also sort of a hot species there, you gotta watch out. Um, but stunning. Sort of resembles a Pulsotheria, and it's where the whole body is like iridescent blue. They start off kind of brown and fuzzy or dark and they gradually grow very quickly. I believe this animal is in pre-molt, so beautiful, beautiful. I'm excited to finally own this species as well. Here we have the Ephebopus cyanonathus, which is the blue fang tarantula. And my specimen here actually just molted, I noticed. Just down here, hanging out. You can see the molt, and the lovely spider is just here. Here's a species I really wanted for a while. This is a Harpactera pulcherpes, uh, which is the golden blue-footed baboon tarantula. It's just a smaller sling, but already pretty well developed. You can already see it's starting to get those blue feet that they're so well known and loved for. Awesome. And then lastly, we have a Postolotheria rufolata, which is the red slate ornamental and arguably the largest species in the Postolotheria genus next to the Postolotheria ornata. They're kind of tied up there, but I would say that the Rufolatas have the potential to get larger. I've owned some huge females in the past, honestly pushing like 10 inches. Uh, this is a beautiful little sling, who I believe to also be in pre-molt. So cool. All these lovely tarantulas are going to be contributing to the beginning of uh, really owning teas again. I have a bunch more that I need to show you guys. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had Afro. You guys all know Afro, my Brachypelma balpalosum that I kept back from when I produced that species. But now I'm really back in. So let's go ahead and rehouse these guys. 
Alright guys, so first we're going to be rehousing the Salmopoeus Erminia. I want to get these guys rehoused, so we're going to gently coax these animals into new enclosures here. There we go. One down. The light goes on. See the happy spider in its new home. Beautiful. We'll see how they, uh, how this one's gonna renovate and pimp out its house in the future. We're gonna do the other Salmopoeus Erminia here. Hope that this one cooperates as well as the last. Okay, okay. Ha <laughs> ha Let's get our lid back on. Very good. And next up, we're going to do the um, Lampopelma Valesiopes. Singapore Blue. This thing is very chill. I've already messed around with it a little bit to coax it. Okay, come on. You know what? This is a pretty small spider. Might actually just put it in one of the other containers. Alright, so let's put this little Singapore Blue Lampopelma Valesiopes into its new enclosure. You're okay, come on. Don't be shy. Oh, oh no, it wants to go back. There you go. Before it runs away, give you guys a better look. Heavy pre molt. Definitely going to do an update on this sling when it molts. I'm sure it'll look quite a bit different and grow a lot. Harpac Tira Pole Stripes. Need a little one. I'm going to go ahead and put this spider into this container. Oops. There you go, you guys can get a better look at it. And then we'll put it away too. We're going to do the P. Marinus. So the P. Marinus proved to be a bit of a troublemaker. If I'm being honest, normally I would do this in a large tub so that the animals are sort of contained and don't bolt like that, so that was my bad. But it is safely secured now and not going anywhere, so we're good. So I'm not going to do the blue thing, just because it's fresh molted, so we're going to leave that one be. And I'm also not going to do the Serial Cosmos Elegans because, frankly speaking, the holes drilled in this are big enough for it to just piece out. So those two are going to stay in their containers for a bit. Next I'm going to do the H-Mac. But I'm a little sketched out after what happened with the P. Marinus there. So what I'm going to do with the H-Mac is just um, put it into a container like so. With the lid off on its pill vial and hope that it just kind of comes out and decides to live in here when it's ready because I I don't want it bolting on me all right next we can do the Nandu Chai Peppy hello come on out All right, bye. And then here, I'm going to do the Carabina Versicolors. Little pink toes. Hello. And then also add a bit of moisture in here. That to soak in.
And then the last one. Hello there. The last one here. And we will place you in your home. Who do we still got? The Pirufalada. Pirufalada. Just gonna go in here. And I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the HMAC. Because we really don't need any spooky situations. That spider is free to leave at any point in time. Alright guys, so hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to say thank you so much to Don of Tangled and Webs for the amazing new 19 spiders I received. These tarantulas are super healthy and awesome. I'm really looking forward to keeping them, watching them grow, and hopefully eventually breeding some of them. So without further ado, I'm definitely giving Tangled and Webs a 10 out of 10 star for the amazing animals I received. And if anyone in Canada is looking for a source or a business to acquire some beautiful tarantulas from, definitely check out Tangled and Webs online to make your next eight-legged friend purchase. Thanks very much for watching, guys. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I have lots of cool content coming along soon. And hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Take care, guys.